Asalaamu Alaikum guys. I hope all is well with you. Sorry it's been a minute since I've done another video, but many of you have been asking for how to tie this bow tie scarf um, through Instagram and beginning so many emails. So I finally got the time to sit down and quickly show you how to do this tutorial. And um, this method, you can use it on any scarf, whether it's a vela scarf or not. And Basically, you can use it to dress up or dress down, and I think it's a really cool piece because lately you've been seeing um, the collar trending a lot, and um, a lot of girls are like accessing their like collars and like doing a lot of jewelry like that. But so for us, this is kind of like I guess our way of doing it with our scarves. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial, and I hope that it's easy. And um, I figured this is the perfect moment for me to stop and show you how to do it because I have my friend Durani from school and we're going to show you how it's done. So let's get started. Alright, so I have my friend Durani here who's going to be my model. I'm going to show you how to do this and I'm going to be using the two-tone Navajo scarf that's from the site. And the first thing I suggest is putting on the cotton bandana only because once it's on, um, nothing really moves and everything just feels nice and snug. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to place the scarf with the pattern design on your head. And when you're laying the scarf out, you want to make sure that whatever side you want it to be, um, for me, I choose the right side, is going to be really long, and then this side is going to be the shorter side. So this is about, from her chin, like about 20 inches down. So you're going to take the two pieces and pin them together. Okay, so once that part's pinned, you're going to take the long side and you're going to wrap it around the neck. And once you have it wrapped around the neck, once you bring it around, these two should be at equal length. And if they're not, that's completely fine. You just go ahead and unwrap it, and when you unpin it, just adjust it lower to when you wrap this around, it's going to be equal. So you might not get it at your first try, but once you keep trying, you'll eventually get the hang of it. And then from the bottom part, taking the side of the pattern about from like four inches down, you're going to pinch it to where you have a little strand. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then from there, you're going to use these two strands to tie it into a bow. So you're left with two very long strands. So the only step is that once it's tied like this, in order for it to be even, you're going to take it and you're going to reverse it like that. And then the final step is that you take each side of the strand and you bend it in half and then you're going to tie a second bow tie. And again, you might not get this at your first try, but that's okay. This practice makes perfect. So you're left with this like little itty bitty like bow tie look, but that's fine because the last thing you need to do is just take it and fluff it out. So you're going to take the inner part and just kind of pull out to however, however big you want the bow to look. So it's just based upon your look and whatever style you happen to be wearing. I think everything's set. So those are the steps that you need to take in order to do the bow tie scarf. Alright, so that concludes the tutorial. I really hope that you found the steps easy and you're able to do it. And this bow tie look, you can use it on any outfit. So you can literally play around with it, have fun, use it with any scarf that you have. And thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and be sure to like Bella on Facebook and Instagram and hopefully I'll be able to do more videos like this in the future if you guys ever see a scarf style that I have on my outfit of the day Instagram post just let me know sorry I'm so contrasted okay that's better just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do you a quick tutorial if I ever get Durani again or find one of my friends to do it with me so thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped. Bye.